Previously on Me and Mon Ami, we took our Citroen Ami through the chargeless village of Kant and went in search of the waterfall of Red Bros, not realizing just how steep the climb was. It's just if we stop here, we won't be able to go carry on. Like we're going into turtle mode. Oh my God. So it will very shortly slow down. We are in absolutely the middle of nowhere. There's a drop down there of about 7,000 feet onto the train line. Is this a lay-by? No. Is this a lay-by? Mm, no, but you're going to have to pull in because we're going to have to stop and think. There's a, is that a lay-by? No. No. But we can't go any further. I think we should go... We're pulling here? Yeah. Or on that corner, I think there's more room. No, that's dangerous. So, we've got the battery warning sign. We're at 10 kilometres left. Well, I think we've just got to plug in the Bluetti. We can't put the solar on. No, but I think we should go... No, I'm not going back down. What's the point of that? Okay, well, so wherever I say you're just going to fall out. What, what's going to go... Why go back? We're because then we're going to be in a town. Go. We're, we're, not gonna, we're not going to be in a town. We haven't got any power. Because we're going to be going downhill. For a bit of it. Then what happens when you to level bit? And you're going at tortoise okay, mode fine. at three miles an hour. That's fine, no use. Thing, yeah. it, it's not all downhill. Um, let's plug the thing in and just hope it works. Just watch your door, because if you, if you go out there, you'll fall down the thing. Yeah, that's if I'm lucky. Oh, oh, God. I don't know why we didn't think it was this steep. I just don't want to... I'll put the hazard lights on. I don't want to fuse the um, Luetti, otherwise we stick the handbrake on. Yeah. So I'm going to plug the car, but we're going to have to turn the car off to do that, aren't we? So we can leave the hazard lights. It's showing battery alert warning. Oh, that doesn't mean it won't charge, doesn't it? But, um, so I'm going to plug the Bluetti into the... Plug the car into the Bluetti, yeah? Now, we need to cross everything. This needs to be level, really. Although it's quite hard, because we're halfway up a... <laughs> um, so, I'm going to power up the Bluetti, yeah? This is the crucial bit, because if it trips, we've... Well... We're up the valley without a creek. Um, Is it because the keys in still? No, it's because I haven't turned on the AC. Let me turn on. Oh, it's on the touch screen, isn't it? So, um, turn on the. AC on. 147 watts it's pulling, 150. It's showing two hours 50 to a full charge. Oh well, we're in a beautiful area to enjoy. <laughs> we're stuck on a corner. But thank God it's charging. I can't believe we've done this. Um, so the last time we tested this Bluetti in a, a non-combat situation it took uh, 55 minutes to add 22 kilometers didn't it now as i say our intention was to do this while we were having a relaxing swim um uh, instead we're going to do it on a hairpin bend in the middle of nowhere about 20 kilometers from sospel so um cross everything folks let's see what happens oh the fans just come on 
that either is good news or the bluette is about to explode because it's overheating. I think that's probably good news. We shall see. The stream with 14% left in the Bluetti. So I'm going to turn it off now, yeah? Then I've got some way of recharging the phone. So that's the Bluetti off. That's the Bluetti unplugged. Now comes the moment of truth. If we can find the keys. Any idea where the keys are? Oh my God, I'm getting seriously stressed now. Um, Keys were under the seat. So here comes the moment of truth. We had 10 kilometers in the battery. We were about to enter. Well, we had a battery warning. Next step would have been turtle. We've now got 29. So the Bluetti has added 19 kilometers. Um, thank God, Bluetti. But we've got 15% left of this. She can't save us again. <laughs> So if we're going swimming, let's go and let's hope we can get there uh, and find it easily and, um, and then regen on the way back to Drap, where we are hoping the four chargers Mr. Booth knows of are working. If not, we're literally going to have to knock on doors and beg a charge. There is no way made we can get back now. We've used everything. <sighs> I don't know about you, Mr. Booth, but I'm gagging for a swim. Let's hope we can find this wonderful waterfall. We'll probably get there and find there's a drought on and it's, uh, it's been shut. It really is quite a spectacular drive, this. I am it's beautiful. dripping in sweat. I can't recommend it enough. It's an incredible road. Well worth coming up here. And it's interesting because as you come through the valley of the Payon, which is really not that attractive, if I'm honest, you don't really imagine you're going to get to this. But this is special. Wowza. I'm a bit scared of heights, but... Eh? I'm a bit scared of the heights here. It, it is quite high. What I don't understand is why it's not getting any cooler. I think it is. It is a little bit, but... Slow down a bit. Why? Because we're, go, we're going, going to go past where we've got to turn. Oh, okay. Can you pull in here, please? There's this gorgeous blue house up there. That's the boxing club, it says. That's the village boxing club. Where are we getting now? I want to see if that's where the path is, because that's oh, where it okay. says on here. Oh, okay. So, Mr. Boo, is this where the swimming is? I believe so. Have you noticed how the sun's gone in? It's okay, I'm still very warm. We're here, we made it, look. Oh yeah, it's fabulous. What a fabulous cascade. It's got goldfish and everything. Do you hear that? Yeah, sounds like water. Sounds like water. Car lovers will be very excited by this old Mitsubishi 3000 GTSL. Look at that. And this old rally car. It hasn't got many wheels though. I think this is, maybe they came up here without their, uh, without enough power and then got stranded. I do hope there's not going to be any échangistes like the last stream you took me to, Mr. Boo. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh look, there's, there's, there's real chickens and everything in a shed. How cute. Oh, we're blocking the bridge. Man's waiting to come over the bridge. Is it up here? I don't know if it's up there or down that way. Big marrow down there. Oh yeah, it's a big marrow. 
The sun will come out tomorrow. Is that from the Stephen Sondheim musical, Marrow Me A Little? This car's as tidy as ours, Mr. Boo. Look at that. Are you sure it's on here? We've been walking miles. Plot thickens. We have tried about 20 different paths to get into it. And there's lots of blockages on saying, don't come into this garden, don't do the dogs. It's like they don't want you to find it or go to it, isn't it? It's quite weird. This looks like somewhere you'd bring somebody to murder them. This is hilarious, Mr. Boo. Look, I found a, a fuse box under here. Be careful. I, I think you could at least, you might be able to plug into that. You remember the couple down there with the, the van life? I think they were watching to see if we were going to sneak through the fence because they wanted to know where, where it is as well. They were looking. Oh, we knew. Yeah. And we thought they knew. Yeah. But they stayed down there. I wonder if they do know because I wonder if it's right down there in the bottom. Well, there's only one way to find out. Gade that doesn't exist. Maybe it'll be down here, Mr. Boo. Maybe. Now. We're at 25 when we're leaving the Nervous Dream. <laughs> it's not the Nervous Dream. Not Nervous Dream. We're at 25 when we're reaching this fake waterfall that doesn't exist, the cascade of non-existence. It's right up there with the Pyramid of Phallic on this. So that's the van life, people. And the, the van is there. Now, they're either in the back uh, making some tea yeah. or they've snuck down somewhere here. Do you think? I think they've gone through this fence here where it says don't go through this fence. Because that's where they were looking. Yeah. And they think, I think they felt guilty because they saw us. And what does it say? Do not go in here. Because there's an amazing waterfall. Have you actually ever seen a picture of this thing, Mr. Bill? No, I've been looking it up and that. But where is it? You think that's think it over, over there. there? What do you say? They're coming back because they've seen them. What, the van lifers? Yeah, look. Oh yeah, they've got no clothes and I can see them. They've been swimming. Oh, shall we wait and ask them if it's any good? At least they've obviously found it. Or they've just put their trunks on and pretending. So what did they say, Mr. Boo? So they said there's a viewpoint after about 10 minutes mm. taking down the thing. So I think we should make a move for that. Okay, and is there a cascade? And there is a cascade and there's water in it. Oh, okay, let's go. Well, this is obviously the path. We've just seen some dog walkers and uh, I think we can hear some other people. But it's a bit of a mystery why a sign says you're not meant to come down it. Maybe it's too dangerous or something. Do you think that is actually the cascade? Yeah. I've seen people sliding down it on their bums. Oh, oh that's what they do? Yeah. That sounds yeah. dangerous. Down that bit? Yeah. <laughs> Wowza. Splash. Just imagine. <laughs> Splash. Shall I have a go? Kind of reminds me of the nudist beach at Ayers. You have to clamber down and cling on to ropes and bits of old hose pipe for dear life. It's very slippy. I think he's crackers, but Mr. Boo has decided he's going to go in for a swim after all this, and he's going to slide down the slide, maybe. So uh, I'm going to sit up here and uh, film him in safety and relative comfort. Well, there he is. Have you got leopard skin short trunks on? Leopard skin trunks? Leopard skin trunks! I want to see you slide down that slide. He's going in, look at this. Cascade de 
whatever it's called. <laughs> Is it cold? Is it cold? I think it sent him a bit mutton, this swimming. I think that's a yes. Are you going to go the slide now? Oh yeah, we don't want them to fall off. You look like Ursula Andreas in that uh, Bond film. What was it called? Oh yeah. And I can't believe we've now got to try and get back with the 25 kilometers of charge in the car, but we do. So uh, drap and chargers, here we come, I hope. to decide is when we get to drought just how much we've gained or lost whether we dare risk going on to Nice or whether we have to stop in drought for an hour and charge um, depends how close it is to a bar the charger I think may influence my decision and if it's working of course Another kilometre, 27. So we've now reached 28 kilometres of autonomy, so we've gained three since we left the waterfall, so it's going well so far. So as we come down from the Col de Nice, that's exactly 10 kilometres from Drap. Right. And we are currently at 25 kilometres range and see if we can get some more coming down the hill. So, we made it to Drap. First two charges were occupied. Second set of charges, well, there's a non-electric person in one, so we just have to pray this one's working. It shows green. Sometimes they're mean. Let's see. charging disaster, we're now attempting to make it to Nice. Um, I think we've about two kilometres left in the Bluetti maybe if we're really stuck. But um, it's, uh, it's bus time. So we're nearly at Pont Michel and uh, we've got 18 left. Oh la la. So, 15 kilometres left and now we're stuck in traffic. Oh, I've had enough. <laughs> I don't want to go home. Not only are we um, on the verge of running out of power of the car, all the GoPro batteries have got the phones down on its knees. Every spare battery we've got has been wiped out. It's, uh, it's been the day of batteries, batteries, batteries. We've just been to our favourite charger near Lidl and uh, Lo and behold, there's a non-electric car parked in the space with these doors taken off. So we're now down to 15 uh, and we're still in Nice. We're not, not at Real France, we're not home. So it's now the decision is whether to try and mess around trying to find a charger and end up flat or risk trying to get home and going into turtle mode. Just seeing our future, Mr. Boo. Here it is. I think we'll get up to the top of the hill and then we'll just roll home. Do you think? It's not downhill from there though, is it? But we could go. Oh, 
why does that have to be a traffic jam? Maybe we can get in the slipstream of this bus, Mr. Boo, and save on the, you know, aerodynamic drag. What do you think? Uh, probably better to overtake it, you can. Probably. 14. 13. to stop. Remember we got the uh, battery alert at 10 before. Um, that wasn't turtle but that put the frighteners on us up the mountain in the last episode. Come on Elton, you can do it. Remember that TV show they used to go, you could do it, Duffy Moon? And they used to do this. And he made wishes come true, Duffy Moon. 12. We're about to get the battery warning, I fear. 11. Wait for the battery warning to come on. Morning at 11 this time, not 10. So we're about what four kilometers away from home. Yeah, yeah, can we make it? I don't think I'm the embarrassment of going turtle or tortoise. So we made it back with eight kilometers of autonomy. What a day, all that for a puzzle. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a like, please think about buying us a coffee and please leave us a comment. We will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.